Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the dynamic tunnel features of Cisco SD-WAN. In this scenario, as you can see here, you, uh, we have the site 10, which is the hub, and site 101, 102, and 103 acting like as a branch routers. So in the normal scenario, we have a traffic going from the branch to the headquarter to access the applications. But sometimes the branch talks to each other using the voice traffic communication. So if we don't have the dynamic tunnels, then we need to go back to the headquarter first and then go to the other branch. But now with the dynamic tunnel features, we can establish the dynamic tunnels between sites. And uh, if there is some traffic going between sites and it will automatically remove when it does no uh, longer traffic going between branch. So let's take a look at the controller right now. So now we are at controller, we have four sites which have the full connectivity and let's take a look at that. The hub, at this time it has six tunnels and each of the branch creates two tunnels back to the hub. So that's why the hub has six tunnels here. And now at this time, the dynamic tunnel still doesn't kick in because there's no uh, traffic between branch. So now I'm going to go to the branch 101. This is the 101 client. Let's check the IP address. Yes, it is 101 client. Then I'm going to ping across the site to 103 site. Now it is successful. Because of, the, uh, because of this, we have a traffic going across branch and this is the ping traffic right so we expect that the dynamic tunnel should automatically create it because it has the traffic between sites so let's go back and take a look at the vManage at this time at the vManage as you can see here we are at the 101 site which we have a client's still pinging the client at the uh, site 103 and as you can see here it has four tunnels at this time so it was two before and another two is the dynamic tunnel that we created so that means the traffic is going across the site with the just only one hop it doesn't need to go through the headquarter and if you wait for some times when we stop sending the traffic, if we wait for some times, at this time we set up about four minutes idle time. If it is idle, then the established tunnel just now, it will be removed so that it will, uh, the tunnel will go back to two tunnels here. So that's it for the demo. Thanks for watching.